Hi, I'm Jack from MDX Works, and today we're going to be talking about networking. I think networking is important because it's something which can help you to identify what jobs exist. It's something that can help you to truly make meaningful connections and contacts. You can help you to navigate what the world of work looks like. And it's something that helps you get noticed. You will start to be you know, imparted with so much more knowledge about what companies do, what roles exist. And then you take that information back into your job search activity and into your exploration around career opportunity and you just become that much more likely to secure a job. Networking is one of those things which doesn't come that naturally to people and it can be quite scary, but if you are able to even take some small steps towards trying to make contacts and just to simply meet new people, a lot of it is just conversation. Networking is both, you know, formal and informal. And the, usually the informal is often what will, you know, reap a lot of rewards. And I tell students all the time, look around you because that is your network. Well, who do I study with at the moment at Middlesex? Who's on my course? What do they do? Why don't I just kind of speak to them as a peer on the programme and ask them, well, how did you find that work experience? What does that look like? You're always networking. It's just a case of making the most of the opportunities and the contacts that you make when you are, you know, even at social events. You do have to sometimes be quite proactive in the way that you network. And I would usually say there's a few ways to start. The, the most simple one is to get yourself on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a, a fantastic space with over, I think it's 800 million professionals in every job role that you can imagine working in every company that you can imagine drop somebody an inbox message which outlines exactly why you want to connect with them and why do you feel that you'd have benefit from you know a conversation with them as an example if you have a profile you do need to engage with it if you've got an appropriate headshot so a professional photograph then you're likely to get nine times more connection requests and 21 times more profile views MDX works can support with you know everything in relation to your profile you know if you're a little bit daunted around what do you include what's the photo that I need to pop on the profile all those things MDX Works can actually help get you started with LinkedIn. So LinkedIn Learning is, is an amazing tool, so it complements LinkedIn as the professional networking platform and, and it houses over I believe, 20 thousand courses. So LinkedIn Learning is just great for, for continuous professional development and showing that you're really interested in your industry. But by utilising LinkedIn Learning and gaining certificates through LinkedIn Learning, you can then add those to your profile and start to showcase just how passionate you are about your sector or why you're so invested in a certain area of your subject. So Middlesex University has a LinkedIn page. Through that page, you have a, a button which essentially is called alumni. You click on that button as alumni and it will show you every single person who graduated from Middlesex with a LinkedIn profile. So all of a sudden you actually have access to a network of every graduate who came from Middlesex and then you can identify where they've gone since. As someone who's been to Middlesex, why not reach out to them as a graduate and say, you were in my shoes not too long ago. And is there a chance that I can have a brief conversation with you around what did you do with your, you know, your BA film degree and how did you get to where you are today? You then all of a sudden realize that there's not just two or three job roles out there, there's thousands of job roles out there. London is, you know, the epicentre of opportunity, really. You know, whether it be health, education, science and technology, engineering, finance, there's often events that you can attend and, you know, you've got websites like Eventbrite. Have a little look at what's available in London, what's free, what can you go along to. And of course, it's a bit of a nerve-wracking experience, but, you know, what's to say that you don't go along with a friend? Every autumn, Middlesex hosts a massive employment festival called Gradstock. It has about 60 employers across both the Grove Atrium and in the Quad. You can network with alumni who come back and offer some insight into their careers and how they got where they started. Also, you can just genuinely chat to company representatives. You know, what do you do within the organization? How did you get into that role? Make sure that you make some notes of who you met, maybe get some business cards if possible, and add those people on something like LinkedIn. Do the follow-up work, be proactive. All these things you can do free of charge more often than not. All you've lost if you don't gain anything from it is those two hours of time, but what you could potentially gain from those two hours of time, you know, is, is huge. <coughs> Making the connections is vital, and that's a great starting point. 
but also maintaining those connections is really, really important too. Message them. Great to meet you today. Thought that it was really interesting when we were talking about ABC. It would be fantastic to maybe follow up on another conversation around what you do and the organization that you're working at. That just, again, keeps you in their line of thought, keeps you relevant, keeps you memorable. So if something did come up in the future, you are always going to be, you know, somebody in their mind. Networking, if you do it right, is showing a genuine interest in the people who you want to make contact with. It isn't about thinking about what can I get out of this relationship, it's thinking what can I offer to this relationship first and foremost, and then if you can offer something to said relationship, the chances are you will likely get something out of it. So it's mutually beneficial for both parties. You really do need to network because it's so, so competitive to secure you know, a dream role upon graduation. You really need to start making sure you meet people and know people who do that job already because they're the individuals who are going to probably help you learn the most, first and foremost, about what it takes to get there, but also maybe the person who introduces you to a direct or an indirect opportunity in the future.